Welcome to Grey Overload, I'm Anthony, and I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the Gigabyte Z690 Aorus Elite AX motherboard. So, I picked up this motherboard because uh, my wife and I decided that we'll put together a computer for the kids, and that they will be able to start using a computer there. Um, they're getting old enough where that's probably the case. And so, I wanted to go a desktop platform, and... Uh, Here's the back, a little bit about the box and everything, so you can kind of see what's all going on here. But um, we, I said, okay, I'll pick out a platform, and that's what I did, is I went to pick out a platform. And I went with Intel because, one, I want to try out their new processors with their efficient cores and the performance cores. And then I also would like to um, see... Uh, like how it performs and right now it's impossible to buy a GPU so here's a little bit about it if you want to pause that you can actually go through and then uh, take a look at some of the features here on this box or on this board um, according to this in the back it has an HDMI 2.0 port and a display port on the website it says HDMI 2.1 I don't know which one's right I haven't figured that out yet um, it does have one PCI Express X16 slot and then it does support DDR5 as well. So when you open up the box, you will get the lid closing on you. You get the motherboard here. And I went with this board. I'm going with a i5 uh, for the kids' computer. But um, here, I took out the motherboard and box there. So let's go through the rest of the box here quick. You would get uh, installation guide. You also get an AR sticker, which I'm sure the kids will like. It will it will not go on the case. <laughs> um, no, they have the full insulate. This is just an insulation guide, which is separate from the motherboard guide. Which the motherboard guide is a lot thinner because it also has the DDR4 versions as well. Same board, probably just different memory between those two. Then you get down to this part of the box. Then you have uh, your G connector, is what they call it. Is that focus? There you go, and I haven't used Gigabyte in a while. My last board I built was an Asus, and then there was ASRock. You get your M dot, probably an M dot two screw, a couple SATA cables, which I will do a build of this. You won't get to see the entire build because I'm gonna have the kids actually build it here. You get your wireless antenna, another screw, another screw. And another screw. So, Gigabyte just threw a whole bunch of screws in there, and then the box is empty. I just put, I'm gonna put all these screws back in there and set this down because I probably don't, I might not need any of that. Well, I need the antenna, the wireless antenna. I got the AX because currently I need the antenna. I don't have enough ports on my uh, switch, so let me put this over here. So I'm kind of stuck, but here's the motherboard. It's got some heft to it. Take it out of the box. The kids actually have been excited to build this. Tape down here. There we go. So. Here is what the board looks like. Let me try to get my fingers out of the way. So you have up on top, you have an eight pin and a four pin. And you have your socket here. Let's go to the back if anyone's interested here as well. That's what it kind of looks like. But let's uh, hold this up hopefully. and go through things. You got your socket there, your VRMs, it looks like, yep, these are all 
this uh, heat sink is seated on there you have your Fournier 8 pin your 24 pin you have uh, USB 3.0 there uh, you have it looks like the power connectors and stuff down here all your fans are up there and you got fans up on top so RGB stuff up on top fans on the bottom USB LEDs on the bottom as well um, amp audio you know this is a you know a $200 $280 board around there you have your M2 slots your PCI Express 5 and then two more X16 slots right down here and so yeah and then it does have the back plate already now this has the wireless um, right there you have your USBs HDMI again could be 2.1 could be uh, 2.0 have to do some research on that and then it does have a 2.5 gig NIC as well so um, you got some audio there what does it say line out and mic out overall I do need to get the kids a, um, a little speaker set up as well they have uh, my friend that helped uh, build the other computer he has a uh, he's allowing them to use his old monitor but this is a quick unboxing of the board let me know if you have any questions with this board I'll definitely let you know in the build video even though you won't see everything I'm gonna go through kind of like how I like the board and how it built together how I like that stuff um, I'll go through too, like how easy it was to work with how you know a little bit of that and then um, just see and then I want to buy a walkthrough of this too um, just to see what's kind of different there but that's the back of the board uh, the cooler I got will also work with this board so yeah there's a I'm I'm excited to build another computer. It's going to be fun and interesting trying to teach the kids and go through this and make sure everything goes good. But, you know, they got to learn too. And hopefully it's a learning experience for them as well. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you guys have any um, questions about this board. And I'll definitely uh, try to fill you in on those as well. But until next time, thanks you guys for watching so much and supporting the channel. Thank you for taking the time to help share this video out. And until next time, God bless. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.